Hello everybody, it is Michael Brownstein here with the Food and Wildlife Channel and today I'm going to do a little presentation to my fiance Eva and it's going to be a Valentine idea for 2023. It's going to be a surf and turf charcuterie board and it's going to have some steak, some lobster tails, some shrimp, some bread, some cheese, and even a few other surprises. So let's get into it. So I've had a couple of steaks marinating on the counter with salt, pepper, and olive oil for about 30 minutes or so. I've got a couple of lobster tails here that I'm going to put on the um, pellet smoker. And I'm going to put the steaks on the pellet smoker. Got some European butter. I'm going to make some compound butter out of. And I've got charcuterie board. And some baguettes so let's get into it so i got this even embers pellet grill that i bought at the tractor supply and i got it on a smoke setting and i'm going to i put the steaks on already on the smoke setting for a little bit i'm gonna let them go about 30 minutes or so and then i'll be right back i will be doing a review on this grill it is very awesome so i got these two lobster tails here they're about four or five ounces a piece. And I got these meat shears. And what I do is I take one of them and I cut it straight up the middle. Like that. And I kind of break the shell a little bit and I pop the meat out. And it'll look about like that when it's done and I'll put that on the grill at about 350 degrees until it's done usually about eight or 10 minutes in my experience. So this is gonna be a great security board for my love, the Miss Beautiful Eva. So I'm gonna put some mushrooms and some garlic cloves on the smoker and we'll wash them and I put a bunch of peeled garlic cloves in there. And I was gonna put a little olive oil, maybe a couple tablespoons, and a little bit of cracked pepper on them. And a touch of salt. And I'm gonna put them on the smoker in a smoke setting. And then if they're not done, I'm gonna turn up the temp and I'm gonna to try to make this a really special deal for the beautiful Miss Eva. Ready. So this is a grill friendly pan with the mushrooms and garlic. And I'm actually gonna reposition one of the steaks. Like I said, it's on the smoke setting right now. And I'm just gonna set the pan in there like that. Shut the lid. So there's gonna be a lot of moving pieces to this charcuterie board. And one of the things I'm doing is I actually put some bread in the um, oven um, to heat it up and I'm gonna let it cool back down and slice it so I just got done doing that and when it cools down I'm gonna slice it into nice sized pieces and then I'm gonna make like some horseradish dipping sauce 
this to go on the board. And it's got about a quarter cup of mayonnaise here. And I'm just gonna put a touch, not like that, of horseradish. Any just store-bought horseradish will work. And then I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna combine it like that to it's 100% together. And then I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna add some smoked paprika to give it a special uh, little touch. And I'm gonna stir that in. And then just a little bit of cracked pepper. Do a little of that. Very good. And that'll be some dipping sauce for the steaks. And then I'm gonna take this butter and make some compound butter in a few minutes out of it. Be right back. So like I said, there's a bunch of moving parts to this whole process to get it to come together, but it's worth it in the end. I'm actually gonna make some compound butter with European butter, some garlic powder, and some chives and maybe a little black pepper. And that's gonna be, I'm gonna combine all of it together and make a great compound butter. And that, that purpose of that butter is just gonna be to, uh, like if somebody wants to put butter on the bread itself, I'm actually gonna melt some regular butter for um, the lobsters and the shrimp. So basically, I got the butter in the bowl. I'm gonna put some garlic powder and I'm gonna combine it. And I'll make these, I'll put these in separate bowls after to make it look all pretty on the board. And we like garlic around here, so we'll, we'll put a lot of garlic powder in it. And then what I'm gonna do is put some green onions that I chopped up, just the tops, I chopped up into little pieces. And I'm gonna mix that and let them render together. And that's another step. So it won't be long and all this will come together. And hopefully the beautiful Miss Eva will love the Valentine's Day surprise. So, checking on the steaks. And they're starting to get a little smoke, that smoky color to them. And I brought a tablespoon of butter with some chives. I'm gonna actually put it in with the uh, mushrooms. And I'm gonna turn the grill up to 225. And I'm gonna cook the steaks to their like medium to medium rare. And then I'm gonna turn it up to 350 and finish the seafood. All right, I checked the temperature of the steaks and they're about 130. So they're getting ready to be cooled off in a few minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish these on onions and garlic up in the oven at 400 degrees. And I'm gonna turn this up to 350 to finish the seafood. So I'm fixing to, I checked the temperature of the steaks and they were about 130. I'm fixing to wrap the steaks up in a few minutes. I'm gonna turn this grill up to 350, but I am gonna take uh, the mushrooms and garlic inside and put them in the oven at 400 degrees and finish them up. Be right back. So these steaks are about done. And I'm gonna pull them off and let them rest. And then I'm gonna cook the seafood with, oh yeah, they're coming off. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a pat of butter on each one and let them sit at room temp for a little bit. So I got the uh, shrimp with a little Cajun season in my homemade version. If you'd like to see it, uh, the recipe that I use, uh, make a comment and um, we'll figure it out. And I put a little bit of that Cajun and seasoning on the lobsters as well. And I'm fixing to put them on the smoker and finish them out. So here we go. I'm gonna lay the shrimp on here. About eight to 10 minutes. And the 
lobsters. Is that the lid? I'm back in chicken. So, during the process of this, I just based everything with butter while it's cooking. As a special touch, shrimp and everything. This melted European butter. That's it. So the steaks have been resting. I'm gonna slice them up real nicely. The seafood's off the grill. I'm fixing to put this board together and present it to the beautiful love of my life, Miss Eva. So this is the finished product. And I'm gonna get the beautiful Miss Eva and open a bottle of wine up. We've got the steak. We've got the lobsters, got the shrimp, got the bread, we've got the mushrooms and garlic, we got some salami with some uh, cheese in it, some fig spread, the compound butter, some cheddar cheese, some very ripe tomatoes, some artichokes, got a couple store-bought desserts that I thought would be a nice touch. Little caramel layered deals. And got some dark chocolate and raspberries and some olives. So I'm back with the beautiful Miss Eva and I've got the board completed. And I first came up with this idea for Valentine's Day. Even though it's not Valentine's Day today, I thought about doing some Valentine's ideas for meals or date nights about a month out or so this year, 2023. So my first one I came up with was a surf and turf charcuterie board. And it's got steak and lobster and shrimp and some other things. And me and the beautiful Miss Ever are gonna sit here and eat a little bit of it and talk about it with you guys. Well, first of all, I would say he really outdid himself. I mean, steak, lobster, shrimp, beautiful roasted mushrooms with roasted garlic, kalamata olives, uh, pickled onions, salami with, I, I think, provolone or mozzarella, artichoke hearts, Parmesan cheese, cheddar, tomatoes, um, fig jelly, compound butter, beautiful French bread, it's a feast, it's a real feast, and it's way more than for two, but it's gorgeous. And for dessert, we have some dessert and some raspberries and dark chocolate, which I love. And uh, I bought this bottle of Intrinsic to put with this meal because we're about, right now, was about two years ago, about a week from now, it's gonna be about two years since I first cooked for Eva for the first time at my house after we've been dating for a little bit. I invited her over, and the first meal that I cooked her back then was uh, steak, mushrooms, and uh, asparagus, and uh, we had a nice bottle of wine, and found out that she was a foodie at that time, and just like me, and we've been um, hanging out for two years, we're engaged now, and... We, uh, yeah, the life couldn't be better, yeah. but I would have to tell you, when I walked into this house, and his house, and he had all that beautiful food out there for me. I said, oh my goodness, this is a trap. <laughs> and I was right. <laughs> yeah. Been trapped ever since. <laughs> yeah, that's the trap. So mm -hmm. yeah, I love her and she's worth all this. And this would be a great idea, guys, if you're trying to impress your special someone for uh, Valentine's Day because restaurants and stuff are usually packed. And I got like a hundred bucks in this board, maybe sure. less, I'm not even sure, but you could probably do it for a hundred or less anyway. Yes, and, and if you go to a restaurant, you get surf and turf dinner with a nice bottle of wine. That's easy, 300 to $400, depends where you go. It can be, depending where you go. And you're fighting crowds, and I mean, Mike and I are not that old, but we still don't like crowds, and we rather stay home and eat great food that we cook. And also, Mike opened a beautiful bottle of wine that used to be my all-time favorite and there's a little story behind that he told me why he picked that bottle of wine it was so cute up to recap now well when i um i first went to eva's house for the first time i had been drinking wine for a few years or maybe more but i was like consider myself a connoisseur 
And I'm thinking, wow, she's got a lot of wine at her house. And that is the very first bottle of wine that she opened at her house for us was a bottle of intrinsic. And uh, I don't know. The rest is the history. The rest is the history. It's a great uh, love story in the making. Mm -hmm. So True. anyway, we're going to kind of like dig Begin. into this and talk about it for a minute. And mm -hmm. we hope you all enjoy this uh, video. So, oh, and if you would, if you like what you see, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. And also, if you would like any recipes, because Mike made the compound butter, uh, oh, and he seasoned the lobster and the shrimp with his own Cajun seasoning. If you would like to know that Cajun seasoning, actually his is very well balanced. It's probably the best on the market. And if you're interested in making your own seasoning, just make a comment and uh, we'll send you the recipe. Right, so anyway, let's dig in. Yes. Let's, I'm gonna have a sip of this wine first, I think. True. Sounds like a great idea, cheers. Cheers, baby. Miss Dobby. All right. It's a beautiful evening. So what are you gonna get in first? Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna dig into a little bit of steak and I'm Polish, so we like a little butter on our French bread. And I think that would be great step. I'm gonna try one of these big red shrimp that we grilled on a pellet smoker and just dip it in the butter and give it a taste. Mm -hmm. mm. So I'm gonna just make me a little sandwich, baby sandwich with a little bit of uh, the horseradish. horseradish sauce. Oh my goodness, that looks delicious, Michael. And uh, he, <laughs> he smoked meats, steaks, anything on that pellet grill, amazing. It's yeah. like on point each and every time. Yeah, the pellet smokers are definitely a good way to go. Uh, I've been using it and enjoying it the whole time. So mm -hmm. that's definitely a good thing to have. <laughs> what do you think? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's good? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. So I guess I'm gonna... Dig in? Get a piece of the steak myself. And... Uh, I'm actually, I'm oh. going to get brave. I'm going to take a yeah. lobster here. Here you go. He's brave. <laughs> yeah. And mm -hmm. a mushroom. Oh, and it's garlic. Oh, actually, nice. I'm going to try one now. Mm. Good. Yes, baby, try one of these roasted mm -hmm. garlic for real. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll get you one. Try that. Mm -hmm. All right, well. But yeah. Oh, and I put some pickled onions on here. These are kind of like a, a trendy thing, but um, you, you can buy them in the store and just drain them. And they're great on hamburgers or security boards, whatever, salads, whatever. They're very, very trendy and for oh, a reason. Oh, they're delicious. They have a little sweetness to them, a little vinegar flavor, not overpowering. Was that Marzetti's? I think it was Marzetti's. Yeah, I'm not sure the brand, yeah, but they had, they had multiple brands mm -hmm. in the store, so. Yes. It's very good. It finish up your board. I mean, if you don't like this, this this would be also a great an idea for a couple's dinner. If you have a friend or a couple for four people, right. perfect. Yes, not too much, not too little. Very satisfying dinner. So, who wouldn't like that? Yeah, that's gorgeous. That's a lobster tail. Mm -hmm. That's gorgeous. I'm actually going to yes. move this bottle of wine out of the way so mm -hmm. yep. y'all can see a little bit. But... And then. A little butter. Yeah, I'm actually just going to pour a little bit on here so don't make a big mess. Yeah. And... Well, while Michael eats, um, we're going to probably wrap this up. And I want to thank Mike for all this wonderful. I mean, this is very thoughtful. I have to say, I'm very impressed. Um, this was a big project. It, it's not like a kind of, uh, I mean, it takes a lot of thought to make this. And yeah. I think any girl would be so impressed with the kind of effort that Michael did. Yeah, and um, like I said, when I was making this video, there's a lot of moving pieces, but the end results here. Gorgeous. And. Um, Mm -hmm. I would do this again. I would yeah. help you with that. And I don't know if we mentioned it. Did you mention the cheese, the three different types of cheese? Yes, I did. Okay, good. 
Yeah, there's three different types of cheese, uh, a cheddar and, and um, a harder cheese, like a... Um, yes, with the fig, with the bread and right. everything. It's, it's, it's just, you have your appetizers, you have your main course and dessert on the same plate. It's amazing. Right, so anyway, this would be a great idea, fellas, for your um, dates on Valentine's Day or any date night or any whatever. Got some beautiful flowers, great bottle of wine, beautiful woman. And on that note. Cheers. Na zdrowie. Till next time. Smacznego. Cheers.